In the glamorous world of celebrities, under the spotlight and fame, some famous individuals often feel they are above the law. I'll make you charge me! I'm gonna show you how I get down when I get locked up. I'm gonna show you how I get down. I'm gonna make them be the However, when these individuals are unexpectedly caught in illegal activities, everything changes quickly. You don't want to wear the short sleeve, it's hot outside. No, uh, uh, I'd rather, like, I don't want to get abducted. I hope you can get locked up. I am from fucking Agape. We will explore the incidents when cops surprise celebrities in the act and see how they react to this harsh reality. The first incident involves a woman known as an entitled OnlyFans model. So how do you get the cuts on him? I actually don't remember. I didn't think it actually go in him. I just thought it was more of like a self-defense kind of thing, like just go... What follows will reveal her true character after a police officer was dispatched to an apartment following a report of a domestic disturbance. Upon arrival, the officers heard loud and heated voices indicating a fight inside the apartment. Recognizing the potential danger, the officer cautiously approached the scene, ready to intervene and prevent any further harm. The situation needed to be assessed carefully to ensure the safety of everyone involved. Hello. Hi. We got a call for a noise complaint and we can hear you guys talking about blood. Blood is normal, but... Okay, we just need to check on everybody because it's all over your pants. I mean, yeah, but... Upon spotting the police, the woman identified as the suspect in the incident appeared surprisingly calm. She acted as if nothing had happened and suggested that there might be a misunderstanding. However, the officer, who had already received a detailed report, noticed bloodstains on her pants and inquired about them. She nonchalantly admitted to throwing a knife during an altercation, injuring her boyfriend. Recognizing the severity of the situation, the officer handcuffed her to ensure everyone's safety and began a thorough investigation. This marked the start of a formal inquiry to uncover the truth, involving interviews with both parties to assess injuries, gather evidence, and determine the next steps. This comprehensive approach aimed to piece together what had transpired and to decide on appropriate actions moving forward. Who else is here? My ex-boyfriend. Okay. We were in an argument, we were drunk, we were drinking. What was the argument about? Not that I can mostly remember most of it, but most of it was more that he was looking at more like a fe other female's ass. Mm -hmm. It obviously turned into something big, but... Okay, so how do you get the cuts on him? I actually don't remember. Don't believe it. I don't. You don't? You, no, you... I'm trying to fix it. Look, it's just so baffled that I'm trying to fix it. Right. Well, it's obviously fresh, so how do you not remember something that fresh? That I'm, just I'm just so baffled that it, it was like, so, it wasn't something like, that I cut him in a way that was what, like that. I think it was a knife. It wasn't in my hand, it was just right there. So I was just like, okay, stop, like, stop. What were you doing with the knife, though? It was right there, and I'm like on the counter. Right. Okay. So and what did you do? Like... Pick it up and. Alright, well, the fire department's coming. What's going on? Just arguing. Where's the knife? Okay. It's so not okay because you're trying to get Right now. Because there's a knife involved. Are you injured at all? No. Not that I know of. Okay, what do you mean, not that you know of? What's going on with you guys right now? Just arguing. We were drunk to the bar and he wanted to look at someone Bill's ass. It was very unreasonable and I know. Alright, well, just because you're in handcuffs doesn't mean that anything's coming from it, but because you're in handcuffs, I do have to read it to you. I know. He has the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Yeah, what do you mean he showed a picture like he was looking at something on Instagram or yes. Facebook or something? Yes. Okay. What was it? It was an ass. Okay. It's not reasonable. I understand. That's why I'm going to jail. Like, I know. Okay. Well, I'm, right now I'm just trying to get the story. But if there's yeah, a knife involved and you I say mean, you have I mean, it's on my right, apartment. Yeah, I can go to my apartment, but I understand how the law works, so I can't just be let go, so I know. Okay, so you guys are at the bar and you're arguing what happened next. And I just moved on from there. I ignored it for a while when we got home. It's no more. So I was just like, okay. I started talking. We both started talking about it more. And it got more intense. Okay. How did that start? Um, actually, very recently. To where it was just like, get away from me. I mean, the knife got involved. Obviously, I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to get in trouble because it was an actual weapon. But when it was going on, you're putting your arm around me to choke me. 
to make okay. sure like he was asking for his key back. We have emails proving that that stuff, but I didn't give him the key back so he wanted to choke me. It's not okay either way, but I know that I did more intense things. Okay. Can like, you lift your head up just one make sure? Do you, do you mind if I push your hair to the side? No, go ahead. Where's the knife at? It's um, in the it's in the drawer. It should have fresh water on it. Looks like it got washed. Can you grow with all the others at work? I think so. At this point, the woman begins to recount the incident, but her explanation lacks clarity regarding the cause of the disturbance. It's evident that her intense emotions are hindering her ability to articulate herself clearly. Recognizing this, the officer maintains a calm demeanor, patiently listening and striving to comprehend the situation better. Presumably from what it sounds like, probably going through either just a fight or some sort of possible breakup. He wants his key back. It just goes from there, like more of like, to, okay, you like get out. I'm, like, I'm saying no mm -hmm. because I, I haven't signed the lease, but this is my part too, in my opinion. So I'm like, no, okay. And he's okay. Like, so he tries to throw me out. He puts his arm around me. He like throws a chase. Doesn't work out. I'm like, get away from me. I push him off of me. I kick him off of me. It doesn't work out. There's a knife on the table because I was the knife on the table and the, and the pan and everything. I didn't think it actually go in him. I just thought it was more of like a self-defense kind of thing, like just go... Okay, so you're in the kitchen by the pans where the knife's at. Where is he at at this point? He He's in the same place and he he... Sorry. Okay, you cut me like he's crying and everything. I'm he's saying like, before that, where was he standing when you threw the knife? So I'm at the island and everything. He's at the point where like more of like the door. And he's like giving my key and he's like going at me. Okay. And I grab the knife and I'm like, no. You just told me you threw it. You said you threw no, it out no, and you didn't no, think it's No, 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 I didn't throw it. I didn't throw it. I held it in my hand. I was just like more like a self defense thing. I was just, I didn't throw it. No. What pictures do you want to keep it? Should be one of the gray ones, I thought. One of the gray it's ones that have fresh blood all over it. Okay. So. Was it that knife or was it one of the gray ones? I really don't know. The fact that it has fresh blood on it, it's probably that one. So. Okay. Yeah. It's Okay. What you told me just a second ago was the knife was sitting in the pan, he was by the door, and you threw it and you didn't think it would no, stick. No, I didn't know. I didn't throw it. Okay. Even afterwards, he's close enough to me, so. So I do that, and then, like, I, like, pick it up, and I'm like, no, and then it goes, like, wherever it went, like, in this area. That, so I'm just like, no, stop. Like, I, I need to fix this. Like, I need to fix this. I need to see what's going on. I need to know if I need to. So we're sitting here doing this whole time. He's like, telling me not to help with nothing. Like, not to even call the ambulance. I'm like, no, I need to know what's going on. The he the head injury was oh, actually a lot earlier than that. It's more like he's choking me on. I bit his head to get him off of me. Walk me through how you bit the top of somebody's head if they're choking you out. So he's choking me out, and he, well, he's not choking. So he's choking me out and he's on like below me, like right here. Okay. So he's holding me. Okay. We don't really get his quad movements, but like, he actually like got on me. I was just like. While the officers were inspecting the room and communicating with the boyfriend, the police outside were also actively gathering additional information related to the incident. With the conflict resulting in injuries to the boyfriend, the police requested medical support to the scene to assess the health conditions of both parties. I bit him, I pushed him, I kicked him, everything. Um, so just kind of going back, I want to make sure that I have everything clear. So you guys are... At we were actually arguing at the bar. At but the that, bar, that's a spark. At the bar, it was more of the, that was a spark. It was in Florida and I just didn't say anything. Okay. So we were at the actual bar in public, so when we got home, it was more of a more intense thing. Like, what did you say? That, I don't really uh, remember, remember too well, but when we got home, I knew that was talked to me like it's normal and everything's normal and we, we just moved on to He's my boyfriend. Okay, how long have you guys been seeing each other? Two years. Okay. We, we did, and then we moved out. So we live separately, and then I was going to be back in actually within a few days. Currently living with two feet away. <laughs> like here, you guys get here, something, you're not sure what sparks the argument to, to kind of flare back up okay? when you guys get here. It's some, you know, some pretty good cuts, but we're going to check them out. Well, I mean, it's one, but yeah. Well, he's also got the one on top of his head. So you guys get back here, something, something you know, starts the argument back up of, okay, where are you guys at that point? At that point, we were just sitting there arguing back and forth. At that point, we were probably like more like kitchen, like bathroom, like how they're right next to each other, just like back and forth. Phrase, or if you don't remember it all, you I don't remember exactly, but I know it's more defensive than anything because it's usually how it goes. This I mean, I was right, so. Gotcha. Okay. You're gonna arrest one of us. 
Well, right now we're still kind of figuring it out. I haven't spoken to him at all, so I don't have his but side of the story. But someone arrest one of us, right? So I haven't spoken to him, so I don't know what his side of the story is. What's this occurring? Do you also live in the complex because of the different unit? Yes. Okay. I actually live in that unit, you know, but as of legally, not yet. Moved separately, and they're working on moving back in together in the next couple of days. Okay. Do they need a check structure? No. A moment later, the medical personnel arrived at the scene. The intervention of the medical team not only helped assess the injuries more clearly, but also ensured that they received the necessary medical care in this situation. What'd you say? I said, am I allowed to know what's going on? What do you want to know? Medical reasons? Well, he stabbed, I mean, I'm not a medical expert. I mean, like, can we open the door and just watch and see what they say? No, there's no reason to. Okay. Sorry. What do you need from me, brother? All right. What do you need from us? I just got the names of uh, for the information to the leasing office manager. Could, did you guys pull an offense yet? Uh, I don't think so. Could you just text me the offense when you pull it? I'll get you everything. Of course, appreciate it, man. Yeah. We'll do. All right. See you later, man. All right. Why is it taking so long for me to get arrested? Well, you're detained right now, so you're not necessarily well, I know we get arrested in violence. I know that stuff. So I just want to know if it's taking so long. <laughs> Wait, well, we got to do a thorough investigation. It's not how that works. I know it does. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's illegal in so many ways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't have any wounds. Okay. Does it mean anything? It does, though. Whether Absolutely you put me not. in a chokehold or not, if I fucking caused a wound. And he's going to need a sworn statement. Seeing the clear lack of cooperation from the woman and her continual defenses, this necessitated the police to employ alternative methods to gather information about the incident. They're gonna give me, they're gonna tell me that he sworn saying it for nothing, so. That's how it always goes. You've been arrested before? I have, yes. For what? Same thing. Oh, okay. And that's what it comes to, and then he drops it. He dropped it last time. He's not gonna drop it this time because I'm done with him, but him looking at ass you and not being oil. Right. Okay. How old are you? 19. 19? And you've attacked this guy twice already? I haven't attacked him. You said you stabbed him last time, didn't you? No, no, no. Last time, no, I did not. No. Oh, my, my apologies. What'd you do? What'd you guys, what happened last time? A fist fight or just a verbal fight? It was, I mean, they say it was a fist fight. It was more of a verbal fight, but. For what reason? Domestic violence, that's it. I mean, there's gotta be more to it. Did, did no, really, really was not. You guys drink often? Yes. How old is he? He's 21, I'm 19, we drink just about every day. It's like a drinking problem that you got going on. I agree, but I can't change that. Either way. Do you work? I do. Where at? What do you do there? I'm out of records. Records? Okay. Um, I've been there for over a year, but without a specific position. It was probably about like four months. So with domestic violence, you guys have to arrest somebody, right? But so there's the most no way, part, so there's no way I can be let off and just go to my apartment. That's it. State of Florida says no. Say what? That's shit. What is? The investigation you guys do. All you do is ask questions and then it just moves on from there. That's what we get paid to do. That's what we get paid to do. That's one of the parts you guys can do, but it's not most of it. <laughs> you say so. I have to really keep on the handcuffs though. Absolutely. <laughs> What do I have to pee? We'll figure that out here in a second. Can we just like shut the door where he's at and just so I can go pee? <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second and see what we can do. For domestic violence, if nobody bails me out, how long do I stay in there? Well, it's mandatory. Until yeah, till I see judge, but yeah. like, what's the mandatory like thing? Like, That's depending on the judge. Last time I was in the said I can't. Oh, that you couldn't bail yourself out? Yeah, sure. I can give him my fucking bank account information, so how do I bail myself out? You got friends and family that can assist you? After identifying the incident and gathering relevant information, the police decided to arrest and take her to the police station for further processing. Off 10 grand to get someone out. Not friends or family here? No. <laughs> Where are your friends at? How about Scotty? Huh? Let's bring them to the Oh. <laughs> Say again? Did they say anything? Oh, I didn't hear. Did you? No, I don't think we need a female. Come on. No one, anything come back on the female? 
I don't, I don't think I there's any here. Yeah, there's just okay, come back. He's <laughs> fucking being a fucking prick. This is not going to happen. Oh, fuck, this is great. They explore right in front of you. You're going to go on passenger side and through you. How long until hearing for next morning? I cannot answer that to you. It could be quick due to COVID and all that good jazz. There's nothing in your purse that shouldn't be in there, is there? I don't think so. All right. Yeah. But it's up there. Yeah, yeah, we got her. She, he, he has a dog camera in there. Oh, they show me the dog camera. Yeah. And she literally just, apology or give me the keys. Yeah. Right? And just one or the other. He's like, I don't want to, like, not trying to. Right. And she goes, well, call it. I'll just got all your. He, like, screams. He's Did like, she, like, stab him? She, dude, she looks. It just says she just grabs a knife and just comes down and just boom. How deep and, is it? Eh, not super deep, but it was like a steak knife. She so hit him with the corn, with the edge, the, oh, the tip of it. He, because she just got arrested for the same thing in December. Really? With same him? thing. Yeah, she and she Stabbed slipped. Him? She was trying to, but she slipped and just. Crazy, she looks calming, but dude, in that video, oh my god, bro. bro, she's crazy. Alright, man. Yeah, you're good. We're, we got her. She's gone. She's she's about to go. So. Yeah, man. It's a must to actually get there as soon as possible when it's non-threat violence. What's that? Following her arrest, the woman faced serious charges of attempted first-degree murder in court. Throughout the legal proceedings, she deliberated on her options and eventually opted for a plea deal. This deal entailed accepting a sentence of three years in prison along with two years of probation. In the next incident, it involves a former famous model in the hip-hop industry. You don't want to wear the short sleeve? It's hot outside. No, uh, uh, I'd rather, like, I don't want to get abducted. It isn't a dirty yeah, ass shirt. Clean it for him. That's a dirty ass shirt. On July 10th, 2022, the Fort Lauderdale sorry, Police Department down, received a distress off. call from a I'm vigilant sorry, neighbor residing in the local me. community. This concerned individual had repeatedly reported instances of break-ins at a nearby residence, marking the third occurrence within the span of a single week. The primary suspect identified in these incidents was Kubana, a former model whose prominence in the hip-hop industry had earned her numerous accolades before her life took a tumultuous turn. What? What did you say? I'm in this house, I'm doing this house, I'm trying to take care of everything around here. Whoever owned that building over there, they are the problem. Because I called Austin six times and, and, and I talked to them and I was going to take something and, and nail it up. They nail the door up, man. And, and stuff. The reason why is keep happening, turn that door and go in and lay down and do it, smoke or whatever they want to do. She'll have that shit screwed up. The officers proceeded to approach the property in question, where they encountered Kubana Lust. They requested her immediate departure from the premises. Anything. He says that he's having issues with people squatting in his house, but the door's off the ceiling. Well, I don't know, police! Come on, your hands up! Anybody inside? Okay. All right, pick a shirt to wear. That red, pink one. Because it's from Nike now. Oh, you like Nike tongue? Yeah, it was a gift. Christopher? Yeah, he gives me stuff. This is what? You sure you want to take this with Yeah, you? Uh, I was uh, doing laundry. Okay. I'm going to give him one. No, we'll do that one. You don't want to wear the short sleeve? It's hot outside. No, uh, uh, I'd rather, like, I don't want to get abducted. With the officer's assistance, Kubana swiftly gathered her belongings to vacate the property. I, 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 I wear this. Right. And you take one of these off, right? You don't need oh, one of these. Okay. So let me take. I just bought it. Can you put it on this one? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave them here, oh, okay. right here, and put the other one in your hair. Can I get my shoes? Yeah, give me one second. Oh, the white one. Oh my pill kind of. Oh, never mind. I don't know about Come. that. Right here. What's your name? I'm Cuban American. The, what's your middle initial? M M A Y R. Is that your last name? Yes. M? And yes. what's your last name? Uh, C U E. Where do you live, Londa? Uh, I live with my ex-baby daddy. Are you currently homeless? No, I'm not. I live at 901.
Have you ever had a driver's license or an ID? Uh, in I have an identification. I did not finish my driving test yet okay. and driver's ed when I was in. But you have had an ID in the state of Florida? Yes. Okay. And, uh, my enough. South Miami, Little Havana, South, a Little Havana. Okay. Uh, for free. Good, 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 good. As soon as they step outside, the officers notice unusual signs in Cubana's behavior. She appears visibly tense and anxious, raising concerns about her mental state and the possibility of substance use. The officers grow increasingly worried as they observe her demeanor, prompting them to approach her cautiously, aiming to address any potential risks to her well-being. So, let me ask you, Londa, I've seen you for the past week. Yeah. I've seen you for the past week and you've been hanging out on fifth. I've been with him. I have a sex with him. Oh, okay. My urban outdoorsman. What's your uh, What's your drug of choice? Uh, vodka and cigarettes. No yeah. drugs. No drug. I don't like marijuana because it smells like it stinks. Okay, but you've done it before. Uh, no, I have. You crack cocaine. Um, I like uh, 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 pills that take my pain like away. Pills. I have plastic surgery, but okay. I don't have uh, pills now. Okay. Like Tylenol. Just, uh... You can have a seat. No, it's okay. There's no chair there. Just had a baby, right? Yeah, it's okay. I just changed my maxi pad. Uh, my pills, my antacid. At this point, Kubana continues to respond to the officer's questions, disclosing details about her profession. However, her behavior remains peculiar, raising further concerns among the officers. Um, you said you just had a baby, right? Yes, that's nice. Square. Uh, the baby daddy didn't sign the birth certificate. Like that's what's going on, but uh, everything should be fine. And where's the baby now? Uh, he's on the holiday park right now with the case manager from Las Vegas. Okay. Are you from Las Vegas originally? No, I just work there. What do you do there? Uh, uh independent contractor. Tiny bunch? Yeah. Try to take your hands out of your pocket for um, me, okay? Fine. Thank you. I'm gonna put my shoes on my toenail's gonna break. Your toenail? Your sneakers? There's one right there that, uh, that's uh, that's what, the one. What, that one? That one is in, like, the front porch or in the front of the doorway. All right, have a seat for me, then. Uh, I'll leave, can I leave my hair? I'll get a few once one of my partners gets back, okay? Following their assessment of the situation, the officers decide to detain Kubana for trespassing, a decision she accepts without resistance initially. However, as reality sets in, Kubana's demeanor shifts, displaying signs of aggression and defiance towards the officer arresting her. This sudden change in behavior hints at underlying concerns, perhaps stemming from her maternal instincts and fear for her children's well-being. Team into police custody, okay? Yes. You're aware of that? Yeah. All right, please turn around. Uh -huh. Turn around. Turn around. Uh -huh. This is his shirt right here. Okay. Oh, my. Her oh, shirt. shirt? Yeah, but you can give him mine because it's this dirty. This one I found before. Yeah, yeah, that one is better. It's, this one is dirty. I'm uh, cleaning it for him. That's a dirty egg. So I'm getting out at 7 in the morning. Is court? What time is court? In the morning. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Can I uh, have some of my soda, please? In a few. Okay, give me a second. Do you have anything on uh, you? That yeah, can... um, you arrested me. What's oh, your name? Oh, okay. Sure then. Thank you. Do you have anything on you that can warn me and poke me in it? On an open court case and like you're not bringing my kids, you're not dropping them off and you're a lady. So I hope you get locked up. That can harm uh, me or poke me in any way. Okay, no, I'm from gonna drop it. No, your fuck is your problem. I don't know if it's her pride or multiple pants, but... Well, no, it's multiple pants. Okay, okay. And I am bleeding. You know. mm -hmm. I hope you can get locked up. I am from gonna drop it. Right. And load his house. Nobody's talking on no railroad truck. The charges against Kubana, including possession of a legal substance and trespassing, mark a significant downturn in her life. With over 40 arrests to her name since 2019, it's evident that she's facing serious challenges. Hope that she receives the assistance she needs to turn her life around and find a path toward a brighter future. The next incident is a routine traffic stop, with Boozy being the central figure in this encounter. He became angry and threatened to spit on the police when pulled over. I'll make you charge me. I'll show you how I get down when I get locked up. 
I'm going to die here, I'm going to make them think you me. On July 12, 2022, an officer from the Fairburn Police Department pulled over rapper Boozy Badass and his driver due to excessively dark window tints and a concealed license plate. This routine traffic stop was part of the department's efforts to enforce vehicle regulations and ensure road safety. Hold down your windows. Hold down your back window, please. How you doing, man? Y'all doing good? You got your license on you, man? Damn, that shit nice, dude. <laughs> Y'all doing good today? Who's a um, registered owner of this car, man? Okay. You got your ID on you, man? Y'all doing all right today? So the reason I pulled you on is because your tag, okay? I can't, I can't see your tag 50 feet from the rear, which is in the state of Georgia. From where? Who took it from you before? <laughs> I know that. Appreciate it, man. All right, I'll be right back. Let me check things out, okay? As the officer approached the vehicle, a strong odor of marijuana emanated from inside the car. Recognizing the potential for illegal activity, additional officers were swiftly called to the scene. Upon their arrival, they made the decision to detain the passengers for further investigation, ensuring both the safety of the officers and a thorough examination of the situation. Hey, I smell marijuana right here. Yeah, they're, they're from... I think we should move it over there because we're about to get deep in. You need to land the block. I'll block the land with my car. Okay. I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, I'm going to take my driver out first, detain him, and then do that. Let's get to it. Hey, step out for me real quick. I'm going to be detained for now, okay? All right, real quick. Is there any weapons on you? Knives, guns, drugs, any marijuana? All right. Is there any marijuana in there? Okay. Stay back here. All right, is there any marijuana in that car? Man, any other drugs? Nah, I'm smoking the blunt. I got you. As long as you're honest with me, I'm honest with you, okay? I can't keep going through this. I what just can't, can't bro. I can't, bro. I can't, bro. I can't, bro. I don't do no wrong. I don't do wrong. shit, bro. Bro, I got to go to y'all security spot. So I the officers then proceeded to search the vehicle for illicit substances, following protocol due to the strong odor of marijuana. As the search continued, Boozy began to lose his patience, visibly frustrated by the unfolding situation. She's a restaurant. You won't lock me up, fuck. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. I'm tired of being with you. I'm going to tell everybody that I don't hit that one. I'm going to spit on everything. I'm going to make you charge me. I'm going to show you how I get down when I get locked up. I'm going to show you how I get down. I'm going to make them be a fuck nigga. When he's talking to them, I'm going to pay them in their feet. I'm going out like a dang. You have to knock my feet off, buddy. I'm ready now. I'm all the way ready. Cause I'm tired, bro. I'm 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 I
I'm ready. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm ready. 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 i am I'm tired. 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 i Best believe I'm gonna tell y'all up. We gonna tear that up, okay? First, let us out handcuffed. That's who we attack. We gonna tear that up. They gonna have to. I'm getting targeted, bro. My license plate is white. I'm targeted. Boozy launched into a rant, repeatedly asserting that he was being unfairly targeted by the police. Amid his heated complaints, one of the officers discovered an unknown pill during the search. Hey, William. Yeah, come on. Let's go. 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 let us at my house right now. If anybody won't think, let me know. I take off the, I, I could fight. I would throw them in the office. All they need to do is take off their bag and they gun. I moved out here for change. I'm finna sell my shit. I got like $10,000 in there too. Don't shit. Don't with it. I know exactly how much I got. Don't put my shit on the seat. Don't, that's my bond money. And I got receipts for it. I just left the bank. I got another cashier checking aside that door for a large amount of money. Please don't f with me. I swear to God, I'm going to follow you. Don't break it. 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 Don't break uh, if I play soccer or baseball, you will stop him for an autograph. Despite Boozy Badass's accusations of being unfairly targeted, the officer's thorough search yielded only a small amount of marijuana, with no other illicit substances found. Considering the circumstances, the officers decided to issue Boozy a citation for the tinted windows and concealed license plate instead of making an arrest. This resolution allowed the situation to de-escalate, with Boozy leaving the scene with a reminder of the importance of adhering to vehicle regulations. I'm ready to fight. Like, how can I live? Oh, seven stops in two weeks, how can I live? Oh. I ain't got nothing but just that little bit that we found. It's no ticket. You didn't speed. You didn't do anything. You say you couldn't see your license plate. It's no ticket, bro. Can you explain the ticket? I stopped you for the tag. What's wrong with the tag? It says 705. Correct, but you can't see the letters. What letters? What letters? You see the numbers. You can't see that. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. That's a license plate. Listen. Listen to it. Alright. I'm going to give you the citation. Alright. For the smell of marijuana. No, you'll be fine. Yeah, I got it. Carl's on the floor. Alright. Give you a um, citation for the next period. And that's it. Be on about this. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. We'll take the handcuffs off. Uh -huh. I just need y'all to relax, man, okay? I got you. I'm going to file charges right now. I got you. I'm going 
Despite the initial tension, the situation was resolved. Boozy was fined some traffic violation fees, and he and his manager clarified the paperwork for their truck, leading to their release without further issues. The next event revolves around an elderly man who happens to be the father of an FBI agent. This man believes he's above the law after causing an accident and fleeing the scene. In August 2022, the police received a report from a woman about a car accident. The incident involved a man who collided with her car and then quickly drove away from the scene. Actions like these not only violate traffic laws and regulations, but also create a dangerous situation for all parties involved. Therefore, the police had to intervene immediately to investigate the incident and apprehend the perpetrator to ensure public safety and order. This is how the car was. It was smashed into me. And I was like, sir, you hit me? And he's like, no, I didn't. While his car is in this position. We have to go on to uh, okay, golf uh, tours that way. Okay. And uh, then we just came here, talk on the phone. He kind of wandered around the parking lot. And then he, he tried to stop me taking picture of his, like, uh, the number to give it to dispatch. And then he did not want to provide me any information. He was like, I know who. I, I got his license plate number. That said, but he okay. did not give me any other information. He just drove off. Oh, uh, great car. Yeah. What direction did he go? So I think he turned right because okay. he was going that way behind me. Do you want him arrested for hitting you or do you just want like his insurance information? I just want stuff? his insurance. I don't want him to go to jail and stuff like that. Okay. That's not something we be careful. Like, right. what if there will be a child in the car or right. something? Based on the information provided by the woman, the police were able to identify the suspect. What initially seemed like a simple encounter quickly escalated. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you going to get out? There you go. It's better. Out of our area. Any problem? Yeah. Here, you want to stop out? Pep out for me? No. You got into an accident over on Greenwood. I know. Uh, you know? I am going to pay for uh, anything. Okay, well. What else? Or, Illinois what, law, what, you have to provide else? your information and everything. What else? We're trying to explain that to you. Yeah, Why don't you, you just to, let him talk? Yeah. I owe sometimes some, somewhere uh, uh, for when. When the police arrived, they noticed that the man showed signs of deteriorating health. He couldn't even properly open his car door because it was parked incorrectly. However, when speaking with the police, the man blatantly denied everything, despite the smell of alcohol on him suggesting otherwise. All right, do you have an ID or anything on you? No. No? I do you have I, insurance? I don't have, I, I am from uh, Poland. You don't have a driver's no. license. Uh, How much have you had to drink tonight? Excuse me? Drink, because I can smell it. No. How about you? So now we have an issue. Some, you don't have sometimes. a license. Oh. Do you have insurance on the car? No. No? What's your first no, name? never. The man's behavior became increasingly bold. He started joking around and threatening the police. Never. Uh, you have a, a so, neighbor. So, so what's your first, wow, what what's your first name? What's your first name? Uh, 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 Joe Biden. So you either have to identify yourself yeah. or we're going to take we're, you. We're not playing games here. I mean. You're going to arrest me. Go ahead. You're not going to identify be, be yourself? Ca be careful. Sometimes I am uh, my son working from earlier. How about this? How about you give us your name and then you can go inside. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't try. Don't try. We're uh, trying to get this taken anyway, care of so we can get you I out like of here. It. Because he got into an accident. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing happened. That's why we're here. Not Despite the police's efforts to communicate, the man persisted in showing disrespect and refused to provide his ID, resulting in his immediate arrest. So do you have any sort of ID, ID on you? Anything? I, I don't care about uh, some kind of... Okay. I'm sorry about this. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Okay. I like it, police. My father was looking for a... Uh, okay, so all we're trying to do now is we're just okay, trying to okay, identify okay. what happened in the accident. Uh, you want that so I need your name. You want that kill me? No, no sir. We just want your, your name. name. Well, you you just, my just home speak, is your home. Just speak your name out loud and I will write it down. What is your first name? I will speak Polish. I remember one lady who works for the sheriff department. I don't I, think you do. No, so we here's never. what I'm going to say, okay? We're going to give you one more chance. So we can no, no, complete no. the crash report. I never go on. Or we're gonna have to take you under arrest, yeah. okay? 
Yes. I like this. So. Okay. But it don't try. All right. Do me a favor. Okay. Turn around. No, 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 no. Turn don't. around. No, we're down here. Put your hands behind your back. Don't do that. Stop resisting. You like? You like? Mm -hmm. uh, All right. We're doing it. Lay back. Got it? Yeah. Now it's 134. Now it's 134. You're sacrificed. Keep steak. Resisting and uh. Don't, 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 yeah. don't, don't do it like right. that. We're gonna lift you up and just go to your knees, okay? So go to your knees now, your okay, knees. ready? Come on. One, two, three. No, oh. no, no, I don't wanna go at you. Your well, chances. Don't, don't pull me. Stand up, and we won't pull you. Uh, my, my neighbor. Why, yeah. why you guys do that? Put your feet in. Why, why you guys? We're done talking about Excuse, this. excuse me. How many times uh, do you have to talk uh, When I call to my We're son. Done. We're done, put your feet in. I am not. Uh, Come on. I know it's not yes, coming. Sit tight. Watch your knee. Where do you want to take me? We're, We're going to take the you Niles. to the Niles. To the jail. Let me lock this one so it doesn't get tight. I, I, I love it. He was driving drunk. Oh, we have we're taking him to uh, our lockup now. Oh, he's fine with you guys. Yeah, he's in our back seat, so we'll be leaving shortly once oh, he. Uh, do you know him well? Yeah, my neighbor. Yeah. Oh, your neighbor. Afterwards, the man was taken to jail, where he became very uncooperative and aggressive. All right, so you're gonna be Hayes. Do you need help getting out of the car? No. You don't? No. All right, come on out. You want to shoot me? No, come you on. You want to shoot me? You need help getting out of the car right now. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I, 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 I have some you. kind of okay. trick. Trick. Uh -huh. uh, but be careful. Uh, okay, if... come on. Put your foot down. Are you speak Polish? No. No, no one speaks Polish. So probably be a oh, yeah. Four, five. Come on. Yes. Mam na imię Kazimierz. Kazimierz? Kulaski prawdopodobnie. Okay. Uh, Here, watch the time. Why are you calling me like that? I'm gonna call to my son from FBI. Okay. Come on, What the f? What kind of police you are? Uh, maybe someday. Maybe someday. <laughs> are you threatening uh, me? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I, 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 so, I, I, mean, are you I, I just, me? I just wanna call, call, call him. Call. I have a seat. Okay, come on. You can have a seat and you can call your he even went so far as to threaten to return later with an AK rifle, a machine gun. The police didn't take this threat lightly, especially considering the man's family background in law enforcement, implying he may have access to firearms. They sternly reminded him of the seriousness of such threats and took immediate steps to address the situation within legal limits. I am ready for waiting. But you guys, take You're ready me. for what? You're gonna, go to, you're gonna go to jail in the morning. They'll take you to court and you can... Uh, you, wanna, you, wanna, you wanna scare me? That's just the my process. Fa my father in Poland was in... Uh, uh, he was policeman. I'm not uh, scared of you either. I so know, but uh, I'm he, you also, what he also... Can we, you wanna go home tonight? Nothing yeah. happened... Uh, but you're driving, you're driving drunk. Too much tisket? No! You have money? $200 on here? 200 Yes. Yeah. Excuse, excuse me, me. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, yeah. don't, don't play. Don't, I'm not don't, don't play with me. What kind of, what kind of number? 52. Uh, I'm the police. When I'm gonna, gonna talk possible. to Matthew, my son. Yeah. You wanna call your son? Come back. What's his name? No, no, no. Uh, what you, I gonna what say you what kind of son of a Shoot me. You guys know how shit shoot. I think you had too much to drink. Uh, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. no, 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 uh, no. I remember how shoot. Do you think your son would be happy with you? If your son is who you no, say your no, son is, never, do you think he would never. be happy with you? My son. Yeah. But you think he'd be proud of you right now? Oh. No. Why are you being like this? Be because I am, uh, I am a Polish hooligan. What does this mean? Uh, that's mean uh, like American hooligan. What's Polish a hooligan? hooligan. So what are you doing later tonight? Pizza? You like pizza? Blandy. Do you drink every day? No. No? 
Every two days? Only with 24 terabytes. Okay. What are you saying? I don't want to come back here with AK. Are you threatening to shoot up the police no, station? No, I don't, I don't have. <laughs> Making threats to shoot up a police station is not a joke to anyone here. No. Do you understand that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 I don't care. I have not Yeah. I have not Afterwards, the police called a taxi for him and released him on bail D-bond. He was charged with driving under the influence, DUI, obstruction of identification, resisting arrest, leaving the scene of an accident and assault. You call I, I am recording you. Oh my God, I am recording you. Who on August 6, 2023, initiated a brawl with a restaurant staff member in Florida. Officers were called to the scene to disperse the confrontation and restore order. Upon arrival, the police quickly noticed the arrogant attitude of this woman. I'm going to talk to her. I'll talk to her later. I'm sorry? What happened? She was screaming. I was in the office. Uh, I know who the hell you are. Uh, you got a whole bunch of Spanish working here. I said, be nice. You know, she, no, he worked like in 2014. She's like, I know you. Uh, you use Hispanics and all this. I said, look. He said that I can hang up. Yeah, it's, is that dispatch? I, I don't. Sir, I is don't this, know. It's Officer Wishaw. You don't talk. I'm the police. They're just oh. dispatch. What, what do you need? Can I get that phone, please? Ahead. What do you need? Ma'am? She's gone. Do not call 911 again. Ma'am? Do not call 911 again. Can you hear me? You call 911? I, I am recording you. Oh my God, I am recording you. I'm, I'm not even doing anything. The woman was restrained immediately after she continued to refuse cooperation and attempted to call 911 despite the police's efforts to calm the situation. Even when handcuffed, she still believed she couldn't go to jail. Sir, I'm not... You're detained, you're not under arrest for the... Am I under arrest? Let's, let's so see, can I go? Am I under arrest? You're detained. I'm detained for what reason? Purpose of our investigation. What investigation? Well, I'll tell you that in just a minute. No, 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 but you hey, cannot yeah, detain hey, me. Yeah. Am I under investigation? Yep. For what? Battery. Battery. Battery of what? Did I have you, not done you, anything. Uh, up in the chair. No, you said sit. No, in you said chair. sit. No, in no, 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 no. Hey, you said sit. Nope, you said sit. You said sit. You said sit. You said sit right here. Nope, you said sit right here. Well, I'm telling you something different now. Sit in the chair. No, 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 no. Under my, yes. No, I'm not going to jail. I haven't done anything. And you cannot take me to jail. You cannot take Next, the police will contact witnesses to gather information. Let's see what this woman did before that. This is what the guy here, African American guy. The guy's real nice and calm. So, where did all this happen? Where? He's, he's calm. He will hurry. He okay. could ask him. Saw him right here? Where they're sitting? Yeah. Okay. And so, what she said to you? I was in the office. Yep. She was in here screaming. He comes and gets me. I said, This girl's just going off, screaming at everybody. Going off on everybody. I come out of the office. Will anybody do anything to you? And she's like, You. There's one, two, three, four. She just started coming. Oh, he came and got you. He came and got you. Yeah, he came and got me, and then she just counting everybody. The guy that's there, he just calm. Okay. And I, I said, uh, "What's wrong with you? Come on, come on, let's go talk." And then she was come like coming, and then she turned around. No, I'm not going outside. I'm staying here. I said, "We gotta go, go close it. We're cleaning up." Did somebody do anything to you? So you walked in there to her where she was yeah, standing. Yeah, she went back and sat okay. down. Do you have any injuries? No. Okay. No, 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 but. She Are you looking to press charges? Yeah, I want to. You want to trespass or press charges? I press charges. Okay. Uh, well, let me get your information first. Can you get it for me? Yeah. Hey, man. So what happened? Uh, I, I have no clue. Did you see anything? Okay. I mean, I am necessarily. Just everybody. And then what happened? Well, like, I guess the server. Uh, and then what happened? Came out. Did you see what happened? Did you see what happened when he approached her? Like, did anything get physical? Just came up like I don't like, like you know, she was on the front of you guys. So you never saw you never saw anyone shoot anybody? Well, there's camera but she seems for Tim. Okay. And she's been drinking. Oh yeah. Mm. Are you with her? Yeah, they're, they're oh, been okay. yeah. talking. Yeah. Yeah. Everything the beer pays. Fine, they're the happy. I don't... Just pure alcohol. And when I bring the beer, so, I don't know what happened. She I was in office. Screaming. He came and got me. So I guess he's a witness. Okay. Snap because okay. he told him it's time to get the closing. Okay. 
and he's like, he's no, but he's, he's, he's been a very gentleman. Yeah, thank you. Very okay. super gentleman. He's been gentleman. Yeah. He never even got involved. So yeah, in country, he was telling her to calm down. Uh, and the actual reason that made this woman angry will surprise you. And the waiter uh, ring the bill. She said, like, yeah. make no sense. And go, oh, just took out the whole day. Just ordered one food. We went drinking and drinking, and we closed. And so uh, I told her what that nicely talked to her that sell more alcohol. Because she couldn't deserve anyone? Because uh, she wanted more drinks, and we said, like, and then what happened? And then she started grieving all over the wrong. Say, oh, my waiter from my employees that fuck. Or I, I go grab my boss, and I, we got a situation. And, she, and then she uh, was like face to face. How did she push her? Uh, he, she like super close, okay. get super close to him, then she like... like with one hand? I, I didn't see right away because I was in the side, but... Are you, are you to pull cameras for me? Yes. Real quick, if you can do it, real quick, the next scene. Now, the woman will be taken to jail. However, things don't stop there. So yeah. what am I in this police car for, sir? To go to jail. What? To go to jail. For what? Resisting. Um, when did I show resistance, sir? And battery. I showed resistance for, sir. I'm done talking. No, 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 no. You said that I resisted arrest. Yep. I want to know, sir. I'm finished. Sir. I'm, I'm finished talking. I want to know when I resisted arrest. What? County jail for this shit. I want to know when I resisted arrest. Sir, when did I resist arrest? Sir, when did I resist arrest? When did I Stop kicking my door! Stop! When did I resist arrest? Stop! She's kicking someone to out. When did I resist When did I resist arrest? When did I resist The woman's behavior is becoming increasingly uncontrollable. Despite the police officer's warnings, she continues to shout and bang on the car door. It seems like this is a trip that demands extremely high patience. Please then stop kicking my door. Stop. Take me, no, no, I'm no, going no, to no. the jail if you stop. Take me to county no. prison. No. That's what I'm doing. Take me to county prison. All right. When stop kicking I the window. Subject's kicking when? my window. Turn the bell ringling now. When? 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 Stop! When? We're here if you Take stop. Me yeah. Take me to county! Take me to county! Record this shit! F you! Record this Get shit! F you! Get out! Get out of the car! You see how his enemy? You see how his enemy? You. You with your self. You with your ass. Finally, the woman was taken into custody and charged with battery and resisting arrest. But things got even worse when the next person believed she didn't need a license to drive a car. The incident began on January 17, 2022, in Gulf Breeze, Florida. While an officer was conducting a routine patrol, he observed a gray GMC terrain traveling at 52 miles per hour in a 35 miles per hour zone and pulled in behind the vehicle. However, the police officer had no idea that he was about to encounter the most entitled driver ever. Hey lady, Officer Banks, Gulf Breeze Police Department. Is there any reason for that speed tonight? Uh, it was before you got off the bridge, and uh, it was who just came off the bridge. All oh, this is 35. 140, I thought. No. Nope. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yeah, 15, 7, 41 with me. Step yeah. out the vehicle. Am I, am I, you, am I not a crime? Yeah, you are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. I, I know my rights. I know my rights. 15, 7, sovereign supervisor, right sovereign citizen. You need to get a supervisor out here right now. No, you need to step out the you vehicle right now. Young out lady, right step now. out the I vehicle. Right. Ask, I'm going to ask, and then I'm going to make you move. step out the vehicle. You're going to get me a supervisor out here right now. No, you're going to step out the vehicle right now. After being informed of the reason for the vehicle stop, the woman stubbornly refused to admit her wrongdoing. When asked to provide her driver's license, she made a shocking statement about her rights. You're going to get me a supervisor out here right now. What right is that? 
I, I do not have to have her driver's license to drive a car. I know my rights. Okay. That, Very well. That's what you want to stick with? Call a supervisor. Or else what? I know my rights. If I don't call a supervisor or else what? I guess we're not going to go anywhere then. Hey, okay, just hold it for me and go and give me the channel. You need to get a supervisor out here. They can uh, educate you on what... The woman even became more insane when she claimed that she could teach the law to the police officers. Failing to give me your driver's license? I don't have to give you a driver's license to drive a car. This is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I have all the laws back here. Okay. So you're not going to give me a driver's license? I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. And what state is that? Any state. It's common law. Natural law. You need to get a supervisor out here. I do? Yes. Okay. Her claims that it's a natural and constitutional law in all states to not have a driver's license if you're driving non-commercially are absolutely nuts. In reality, the law mandates that individuals operating a motor vehicle on public roads must possess a valid driver's license, irrespective of whether it's for commercial purposes or not. This refusal to comply with basic legal requirements only escalated the situation further. And now, what she desires most has been fulfilled. The police officer quickly called for his sergeant to arrive. Unfortunately for her, this sergeant was not as patient as the initial police officer. Sir Turner, A, she won't identify, she won't produce a driver's you, license. She's doing 58. Am, yes. Okay, I do not have it, to have a driver's license. Her vehicle stopped for speeding. 54 and 35 coming off the bridge. She asked me where the speed limit was saying that. We pull over here, I introduce myself. I said, the reason, any reason why we're driving this fast? And I say, you got your license. She immediately goes into, I don't need a license. So. You do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. I do not. I don't care about common law. You're in the state of Florida. You're in the state of Florida. You're in the state of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state it of Florida. So you better hold the information you gave us. So at this point in time, I need you to shut the vehicle off and step out of the car. I'm, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. You're going to get out of the car. You are being legally stopped on a traffic stop. You are not being cooperative. What Trust me, I know the difference. Turn the vehicle off and get out of the car. Out of the car now. Undo the seatbelt. Turn the vehicle off. Turn it off now. Put all that down. Step out, turn around, face away from me. Turn around, face away Turn around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. I do not have to have a driver's license to I don't drive care what, car. I don't care what laws you say you I have. I know that you don't care because you, you're, then you, you're supposed then to be you, a police then officer. Then you should a know peace that officer. this is. Right. You don't care about the laws, you don't care about our rights. That's the problem. I need to call. Have a seat. To... You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail. Excuse me? You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail, you're under. At this point, the woman still insisted that she was always right. It's evident that her delusions about the law have gone beyond limits. I, I live right down there. Where's your ID out of, or your license out of? Mississippi. Sir, you said you don't need one. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. This, We're not going to play any of these games with you tonight. My rights as a, it's as a citizen. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not your rights. Right. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Why would you, I do that? I'm, I'm trying to use my rights as a legal... Well, you would do that because you don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have to have a valid driver's license. I do not. Then we'll let the judge determine that. We will let the... <laughs> arrest me. I haven't done anything wrong. When the woman realized her own laws didn't apply, she started to request to call her mother. Can I please call my no, mother? No, you cannot. You don't need to call you. Are you an adult? Yes. Then why do you need to call your mother? To come and get me from jail. We'll be able to call her once you get there. Can I at least lock my car? We will make sure it is secure. What are you going to do with my car? Probably tell it. Why? You are driving without a license. I don't have to have a license. It is not commercial driving. Yes, it is. It's unbelievable that at her age, she still requests to call her mother to get her out of jail. It seems like we've missed something. The issue is that this woman never takes responsibility for her actions and is always shielded from the consequences. But when she realizes she's not achieving her goal, the woman's attitude suddenly changes and she becomes unusually cooperative. This has added another layer of suspicion. She might be hiding something else. Be honest. Sergeant, please. You don't have a license. Okay, I'll, I'll never drive. Because you believe you don't have to have a I'll license. I'll go get a driver's license tomorrow. Now you're telling me that you'll go get a license. Because you're telling but yet me you that I have no believe choice. You don't, 
That's correct. You have no choice. So Please this is the no. This is the road that's being taken, and this is what's going to happen. Upon looking up the driver's information, it was revealed that her Mississippi driver's license had expired since October 21st, 2021. It was also revealed that she had an active warrant out of Santa Rosa County for failure to appear for driving while license expired. What will happen next when the police inform her of what they've just discovered? You failed to appear on a court appearance for, what was it, expired license? So your Mississippi driver's license is expired, okay? And the registration. So you had a court date that you missed. You don't or you choose not to? No, sir, I would not lie to you, I don't lie. You do have a warrant out of Santa Rosa County. So we're regardless, Santa Rosa County. do you not know where you live? I just moved. When did you move here? About two months ago. You don't know what county you live in now after no, two months? No, I don't. I don't. That's not something that I use often. Well, you are going to jail tonight. Well, thank you, Sergeant Turner. You, you're welcome. I can do that too. I can, I can stare at you. You know that you are doing the wrong. The situation becomes even more tense as the police search her car and find ammunition but no firearm. This discovery adds another chilling aspect to the unfolding events, raising questions about the true nature of her intentions and sparking concerns about what else might be concealed in the shadows of her vehicle. It's not It good. doesn't change it the fact happen. that I do not have to have a driver's license to drive people. I do not. I'm not a commercial driver. I'm, I'm traveling. That is considered a part of my home to drive a vehicle. I suppose you don't have to have a registration either. No. Your tag's expired. You know who I am, you wrote my tag. So here's what I am curious about. Because you're right, I do want to know more. I so you, you're the registered owner of that car. Yes. So at one point it had a valid tag and registration. Right. So instead you're okay just riding around with an illegal expired tag. It's not illegal. So that you don't believe you the laws apply to you. It's I have a, to do whatever I have. Just to get by. You mean these? Yes. <laughs> Where's the gun in the car? There's no gun in that car. There seems to be ammo. The gun's in a pawn shop. When did you pawn it? So why are you still just carrying around ammo? I didn't know that ammo was in there. What can Nothing. I do with without a gun? Nothing. All right, is wrong with it. But if there's ammo, normally there's a gun. You want to keep the gun in safekeeping. The police officers continued to search the car, discovering a plastic bag inside the driver's backpack on the front passenger floor containing a white powder substance identified as cocaine. Give me your full name. Give me your full name. Look at me, give me your full name. Drugs inside the vehicle, you are under, under arrest now for possession of felony narcotics. I didn't give y'all permission to search my vehicle either. Your vehicle's being towed, we're inventorying it, we're not searching it. Yes, you, you say that our laws don't matter to you, so what does it matter? Obviously, I don't have any laws right now. Plenty of laws, you're just breaking them. I don't have to mind laws that, that, aren't, that aren't valid. Despite providing multiple justifications, she was ultimately transferred to jail, where she must present her case and face the consequences of her actions. The woman was charged with operating a motor vehicle without a valid license, driving under the influence and possession of cocaine. Bond. $11,500. The story of when cops surprise celebrities in the act is not just a wake-up call for celebrities, but also a valuable lesson for all of us about respect and adherence to the law. Fame or wealth cannot place you above the law. Always remember that following the law and maintaining ethical behavior not only protects yourself, but also ensures safety and fairness for the entire society. Thank you for watching the video from start to finish. Goodbye and see you in other interesting videos. Have a great day.